Welcome guys again. Let's start present this next part of this engine block. So here we have to create this four. So for to create home, go to home command, select this space. Make sure what is on what is the diameter of this mold so all holes are the same size diameter is 10 if your diameter is 10 and go to the sketch position make sure to make this point should be concentric to this circle I just store this sketch for paint Take value for this mode is 10 mm. Here we can check the value for this is 10 mm. Depth to hold depth is 10 mm. Just we can take some more inside the part. So give me a something. Again, go to more because we want to see more set up. Click this space. Go to sketch position and make this point with constant right to this. Is it is to the sketch or pinch? Make sure the diameter of hole is 10. Depth is also again go to hole. Come on, select this face. Go to sketch positioning. Make this point concern to this. We concentrate city to this circle again. Go to home and select for this last face to sketch positioning. Make this concentrate city to this circle. Now you can see we have created this all hole. Let's move forward next. Next we can see in some we have to create one codon channel and this can be created by using all the boolean operation. So we start to create this for to create this first of all we have to insert one body from this main attack give this name as make it right click to this body go to properties here go to feature properties give your name as current channel let's start to create this current channel or to create this we have to create one plane so here you can see your dimensions for so we have to create one plane at the distance of 95 which is middle to this path and from this so select plane make object from plane select this bottom face we show to the z direction and the value of this is 95 Offset distance of this plane is 90. Now go to sketch positioning, select this plane, go to the point of this orientation is parallel to this line. Now we have to create this type of sketch. So to create this, create two sketches. 
to circle here is line on same horizontal axis diameter of this is 56 actually radius value is given to your radius value is 56 this also same 56 the same to distance same as this surface which is I think one four. It is concentrated to this concentricity and select here also concentricity it is 144 we have to create here one inch another circle having radius 50 so go to circle want to create one circle which is right here and give me dimension as 41 this circle should be here go to constraint make these two circles tangent and same we want an other side let's put it one second one circle Having radius value 40, make this circle tangent to this. <coughs> These two circles. Now go to quick drawing command on this operation tab. Delete this unwanted line. Now exit this to this sketch work page. Now we have to create profile on the center curve. So to create this, you have to go first of all select this plane and make sure to select the normal to curve and select this curve. And actually we have to create point. So right click here, create one point, create one point and this. Go. Select this. This okay. Now if you see this sketch, this plane is created. Now go to sketch position and select this plane. Make sure character point is this. Orientation is parallel to this. And cut here select this command by cut part by the sketch plane you can see section view of this and this plane section view of this part and this plane and now let's start to design this profile make sure what is profile so we have to add an elongated horizontal loop so we we'll fly out this rectangle command create an elongated movement Let's check dimension for this. It is 7 radius. And from center, it's present at 89. So, do dimension from this to this. Which is 89. And about upper part is rented one zero one. And center also ninety five.
Now we have to make this coincident. This line should be coincident to this line. Select this line and this circle. To this position we want. From center, it will become like this. Now, this sketch is fully painted. Now, I see this to the sketch of paint. Now, we are using a rip tool here. So, make sure to find this work object and make here choose this tab to tab and click here on the current body. Now go to click command here, select this as a profile, this as center curve. Now press OK. Now you can see this part, this colon part is created. Now click this on the current board. Actually, we can't see this part because this is inside this part. Now right click on this colon channel body, go to here, colon channel object, and make it remove on this part body. Now let's start to take a section. Take a section on this, on this, and just just take a part somewhat upper side. Like this. And here you can see this coolant is created here, coolant channel is created here. And next, we start to create this part. Let's start to create this also. This whole zone, what we want this one part so to create this, we have to call this sketch till we are created. I think it is this. Now make sure to make not this. We want this curve, so to copy to make copy of this based on this part body. Take a special special in press of now you can see this sketch is created just double click to this sketch make sure to make this all sketch as reference part so that this all and make here construction now let's start to create this part so we have to create an elongated here here, here. Select this as a simple, this as a radius, create somewhat like this structure. But before creating this, make sure you have unchecked this construction element. One second, see it. Now we start to do dimension to this one. So the radius value for this is 3. Center to center distance is given at 15. From this to this vertical distance is 15 times half or 15 meters. It's also 7.5. Now select this sketch only by dragging your mouse now go to rotate command here select this as a center and actually this we want 8 of this and here you can see 1 2 3 4 5 and here also we are taking so 1 2 3 4 5 6 8. so do here 8 as a value 
to this as axis create this at 45 degree now you can see this is sketch is created just we have to we don't want this so select this sketch i will by pressing control and hold this control key and make this as a reference and check this reference again now you can check that when you have selected this all select once again this all part but before that create one axis here this axis we, we are created actually for cause we want one axis to create this mirror of this all part now check from center we want actual distance from these two holes are 144 so this axis come at middle position so half on 144 now select these all sketches by dragging your mouse select them by using this left click button go to mirror command here select this axis now you can see this exactly part we have written on the side now once again select this small part go to here fly out this fix to better and select auto constraint here because we are not wasting our time to put dimension to this all now select reference element as this and this now press ok now you can see our sketch is created fully custom automatically just wait it takes some time because it have more and more code sketches now you can see this part is created just some you have to delete this cause our question is happening here Now exit is to the sketch for change. Now just check out sketch is perfect or not. Here you can see some more part are coming here. So double click to this. Delete this and give sketch again. And delete this extra which is come here delete this this and this and this so we are uh, removing the extra sketch actually we have created this extra sketch by mistakenly Now we have deleted our extra sketches. So I exist this two sketch working. Now I can check no any black dot point is coming here. Now select pocket command here. Make sure to make this direction at opposite. So check here as a reverse direction and now press OK. you can see this code is also created here also there are some holes here these holes also we have to create so to create these holes once again we are using this 
preferences go to this and make sure to show this sketch with this sketch this line this sketch against we want so make a copy of the center part sketch paste in here it's special okay, so now you can see this part is created here this sketch is created now double click to this sketch and make this all again as a reference purpose only and I'll check to this line okay, so now create one holes here so to create hole create two circles here and it's here and it's along this circumference of this circle only now you dimension to this all so dimension for this is holes are you can see here are 8 such a hole 1, 2, and M12 1.5 1 1.25 and 30 mm depth so the radius value for this is 1.25 actually it is diameter value well, so go to your diameter and select 1.25 it is m2 and a value is i think diameter value is 12.5 this also same 12.5 and this from this distance it is present at 21 again this value is again 21 now exactly same holes you on the other side so create once again one axis in here this axis is The distance of one one four five and seventy two, which is correct. Now select these two circles here and go to mirror command and select the center. You can see exactly created and on the side. Now we have to create again these hooks two circles which is presented here. So to select circle, create two holes here same delete this tangent command here which is created and diameter of this as 12.5 this also same 12.5 and from this center these circles are present at make sure your vertical distance 59 mm and this also same
39 from center we have aligned this perfectly so take this axis as a center this value is come at half of 48 which is 24 and center to center distance is 48 now we want exactly this to circle some other side Great on axis which is passing to this center of this four now select these holes Let's go to mirror comma and select this axis now you can see exactly all circle related at opposite side now as it is to this sketch work in make sure what is depth value for this is given here as a as 30 mm now here you can see our trail depth is also given but it is but it can't require for this in this at now this stage now select pocket command here make sure to reverse this direction now decrease some direction on this I think it is 120 make it a 100 So here it is command we can see that it is fine. Now go to more here and here we want it is minus 30 this command is 55 means minus 55. Now you can see we created these holes just check these values are correct select this inner face and this upper face by using this major element you can see the depth is perfect now you can see we have actually created this on colons also and this holes also now in next we can create this what we call is actually adapter flange so see you in the next video